And now to the story of a Southern Arizona family who wishes they could turn back time. Their loved one, Alexis Real, was recently killed when her car rolled on I-19. Now on your side's Tammy Vo explains what happened to her could make you think twice before you get behind the wheel. Most of us called her Lexi. For the first time in her life, Annette Morgan is realizing just how fast life can change. It's the only life you get. You don't get a second chance. Once it's done, it's done. And there is no going back. If she could only go back to last Friday when cousin Alexis Real got behind the wheel on I-19, headed for the movies, she said goodbye to her little boys. It happened so fast. She left her boys shortly before 9, and by 9.30, she was gone. One of her brand new tires blew out. The car rolled. Alexis was ejected. She was not wearing her seatbelt. Do you think that had she been wearing her seatbelt, she might still be here? I do. I do think that if she had her seatbelt on, there'd be a good chance that she would have walked away with minor injuries. It's a tough pill to swallow to think that just that one little thing, one little thing is the difference between having your loved one here and having them gone. She was a good mom and a generous sister. Recently, she took in her sister's family of nine because they needed help. 12 people living in Alexis's tiny Rio Rico apartment. So she got a second job. So she said, just come down here, stay with me. I'll help you out until you get on your feet. She had a big heart. She did. She had a, a, a huge heart. To think that now they're planning her funeral. Two little boys will never see their mom again. A sad reality triggered by a simple tire blowout and a simple decision not to buckle up. You know, why couldn't you have just had your seatbelt on? There's a lot of pictures that depict her in her vehicle in the driver's seat with no seatbelt on. And sometimes you think if only we had just even jokingly said something when she posted these pictures like get your seatbelt on why are you taking pictures and driving at the same time tammy vo kega nine on your side now alexis's boyfriend was also in the car he survived the family is desperately trying to gather five thousand dollars needed by thursday to bury alexis if you would like to help you can head to our website kega9.com and click